newsletter I made using Google Slides. These are available on Teachers Pay Teacher, and it's a fun interactive digital version that kids and adults can click around and get all the news in the art room, and it makes it super fun. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour, and for this, I am going to share, and I'm going to make this only viewable. So anytime you wanna share something digital, make sure that you can are in complete control like the viewer cannot change things I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to open this up in a brand new guest browser so that way um, you can see what it looks like to my families so here it is and as you go down through each page they're all different and fun I added like little fun coffee stains and things on the side now what makes this really cool is these tabs you can change the tabs, the text, the font, the size, and simply click on it and it'll take you right to that slide to make your newsletter a little more easier and faster to read. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce to you, um, this is just a general template, what I have so far, the text is just there. I wanna really leave it up to you for your imagination. But I included this Meet the Teacher and little things about me. So the cool thing about this newsletter is that it actually looks like the art supplies have spilled on top of the newsletter so they're kind of part of it and the designs as well now what I notice is it's fun to have some pages that are more blank or simple like this one where you can insert picture these are these placeholders you just simply would click on them and then hit replace image here's a addition to that page I included um, in the Teachers Pay Teachers just some things I have in my classroom or ways you can use this to inspire. Um, I came out with this this summer. It's a giant watercolor palette and I want to include it in my newsletter because students and families love seeing uh, our teachers make this stuff. And my students always find it very fascinating, the process, so I can give them access to you know my demonstration video or just the directions if they want to make their own so I did include some of the personal things in my classroom for you here in this document but feel free to edit delete your version and make it your own I have all different templates here here's a colored pencil page this one's one of my favorite with the little paint water change headings there is a blank page so you can make your own design and I added stickers so I made these grade level stickers. They are just JPEG images, but you can copy and paste them into any slide. Or you can make your own. Just simply type in where it says grade level here, or your own text, whatever you'd like it to say. Change the font, size, whatever. And then all these different things. Um, even like a page turn, you can change the page number. Now, this is my favorite part, is this can be digital, or it can be um, a hard copy. And the hard copy is just so, so cute. And so here I printed out directions for you or included them in this document. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to print. And it's gonna take a few minutes, but what I love about this is you can have several slides on a page. And no matter how many you put on a page, it still looks like a newspaper. So, um, and you can make a newspaper or actual booklet by doing this. I suggest having multiple pages and then printing on both sides. So I can select my pages. I'm gonna be doing all the pages so you can get the full effect. And I'm gonna begin with two. So here's what it looks like as part of like a booklet. And you can see like no matter what page you have next to one another, I just think it looks really good. I know I'm a little biased, but it's cool. And you can rearrange them as you see fit. Okay. So what I would suggest is if you're doing two pages and if you know this is the size you have accessible to your school and in your classroom I would get rid of all the odd page curls just to um, I mean it's a really cool graphic but it just makes it look more like this is part of a book and then like I said I'd print these both sides of the page and staple them together and you have yourself a mini newspaper my other favorite is going four to a page I would obviously print on larger paper so it's readable but it looks like a giant newspaper. Here it is, and you can literally move all the text boxes around and things 
like that. And in your version, I tend to give you like little notes and things that help make this a little more cute. So I highlighted my headings here, or my titles, to make it look like the marker colored it. You can change the color for that. Here's where those grade level stickers come in handy. So a newsletter is just a really great space to highlight things you are doing in your classroom. You are accomplishing more than you know and you should be proud of it show it off the kids would appreciate that too and don't be afraid to highlight a student here and there and their artwork so thank you so much for watching that is your newsletter make it your own i have my own logo and design here for my school thanks bye